feeling overwhelmed with the latest features in the iOS 18 update? Well, hello guys, welcome back to the channel Get Assist and today in this video, I will be telling you about all the settings that you need to adjust with the iOS 18 update. So let's get started. Well, no doubt that there are some exciting features, but with it, there are some cons as well that may drain your battery health or there will be some compromises with your privacy or maybe it can slow down your iPhone. So let's get started again. The first thing that you need to adjust is your battery optimization setting. So for that, just go to settings, then click on battery, then on charging and toggle off optimized battery charging. The next step is to set a battery limit and for that, hold your phone in the same menu, enable charging limit and then slide the bar, set the desired charge limit for say I have set it to 80%. This charge limit battery option is only available in the iOS 18 update that is going to increase the lifespan of your lithium ion battery. Now let's silence those pesky notifications from iPhone. For that, just head to settings, enter your name, then the personal information, go to communication preferences and just turn everything off. No more newsletters, no more unnecessary emails, just peace and a healthier inbox. 5G is great for speed but awful for your battery health. So let's see how to fix it. For that, just go to settings, cellular mobile services, then tap on mobile data options and then click upon voice and data and then switch to 5G auto. This ensures that your phone uses 5G only when required and protect your battery health from draining faster. Also, do you know that your iPhone automatically connects to Wi-Fi networks that is not good for your battery health? So follow these simple steps. Go to settings, click on Wi-Fi and then click on ask to join networks and do turn it off. So this way, your Wi-Fi would be connected only when a manual introduction is required. Ever wondered that sometimes few apps get automatically downloaded on your device and are displayed on your screen, but you haven't downloaded them. So let's see how you can resolve this. So simply go to settings, click on app store, turn off the app downloads under the automatically downloads and you are done. Apple says that privacy is a priority, but they still love your data. So let's see how to cut it off. For that, again, open your settings, click on privacy and security, and then click on tracking. Turn off allow apps to request to track. Also, no one likes to be flooded with unnecessary advertisements. So for that, go to Apple advertising, just below the analytics and improvements and turn off personalized ads. Keep your data for yourself. In the same privacy and security settings, go to location services. Many apps track your location 24 seven, even if not required. For every app, change the setting from always to while using or maybe never so that you can turn off your location and trust me, it is going to save your battery health. While we are here, just scroll down and go to system services. Here, toggle off everything under the product improvement op option. Apple loves collecting your data, so protect your data at your sake. Do you know, iPhone keep a track of all the places you go to. Creepy, right? So just turn it off. And how you can turn it off? Let's see. Just go to significant locations and turn it off. The next thing in your phone is the search option. So for that, go to search and you will find the option of help Apple improve search. So go ahead and toggle it off. There is no need to send your data to Apple. Finally, let's move to the last setting that you need to adjust. That is the apps running in the background that 
you might not require and are draining your battery health. So for that, let's follow these steps. Go to settings, click on general and then click on background app refresh. Just set it to off. With these adjusted settings, there will be no privacy concern, no battery draining issues. So if you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe and comment below what you liked about this video. And I will meet you in the next one.